Man, why can I not think of that? <laughs> What's going on guys? It is another cold morning out here. Um, but the good news is the FJ is completely finished. The build is done. Uh, there is nothing else I really want to do to it and I'm going to walk you around everything that I have done. I spent a lot of money on this thing, but it's taken me everywhere that I've ever wanted to go. And the bad news is it is now time for me to part ways with it. Yep. It is going up for sale. Reason being is I just bought an ambulance. But that is actually gonna be my new Overland rig. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through everything that I've done in the description. It's also gonna have a list of everything uh, that I named. But I pretty much already got it cleaned out, so everything you see will be coming with the vehicle. And it is a lot. There are only maybe two cons and I will get to those two at the end. Let's take it back up to the front and uh, we'll start from there. So if you've noticed the front looks a little bit different. Um, this is actually a Warren bumper. And this thing is super beefy, okay? It looks like I'm gonna be battling this sun. Um, so yeah, let's... It's not really gonna make it a whole lot better. So uh, it's got a light bar, winch, 12,000 pounds, and it's also a synthetic cable. Got some aftermarket LED bulbs. That way you can keep the stock headlight look, um, but the performance of it just skyrockets. Sitting on top of the hood and the tent are gonna be 100 watt solar panels each. That is to charge the secondary battery. Speaking of secondary battery, here it is. So I've got two Optima yellow top batteries. Both have 55 amp hours each. Actually has a Tacoma TRD Pro alternator. Um, so it bumps up those amps just a little bit more. Battery isolator, so it cuts on and off. You're never actually pulling from your starter battery, uh, which is actually really cool. But let's jump to this side real fast. Um, as you can see, I've got a snorkel also sitting right here. It's gonna be the CB antenna. Now, I already took the CB out, but it is fully wired uh, to put your own CB in. Really just replacing the uh, stock antenna, so it looks a little bit beefier. The ditch lights, I've got two amber lights. They're crazy bright. I used to have some Bajas up front, and they are the exact same in brightness it's actually pretty crazy so i've been very happy with those all right moving down here to wheels and tires there's going to be black rhino wheels um, sitting on some mud claw tires these are basically brand new tread on them um, still look really really good but they are 35 12 and a half wheels are going to be size 17. this is a three inch pro comp lift uh, it's got tough country upper control arms i do have some skids on the uh, lower control arms. I also have rock lights on this thing. It's got two whites in each uh, wheel well, and then it's also got one colored. I take that back. I think it's two colored, one white, but the whites are really bright. A Warrior flat rack, Warrior wind deflector, ARB mounts for that. And then sitting on top is gonna be the medium CBT mount hood. And this thing is super sick. Fully adjustable crossbars. I have it set up where you can only get in on this side, um, but I do have all the hardware where it allows you to put the collapsible ladder uh, kind of wherever. We get a look at the inside. I do have some rock sliders. Uh, those actually came on uh, when I first got the vehicle. I'm going to say that they are Warrior brand since everything else was mainly. That's what I'm going to stick to, uh, but do not quote me on that. So sitting from the driver's seat, uh, this is everything that you can see. I've got a bunch of switches for all of the lights, the winch, wireless remote, um, always keep a flashlight right up here. Scan gauge, I've actually really enjoyed having. So I've got a ton of these phone mounts right here, really enjoyed those. Always gonna have a thousand of them. Uh, this is actually gonna be a gauge for the secondary battery. The only thing I don't have for it is a bridge um, to be a little bit more accurate and actually read some stuff, but still pretty neat. This bottom one down here, I actually had the CB mounted and I actually had the CB walkie uh, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that was actually mounted right there, so it was just kind of like a little quick release. So pretty neat. Kenwood head unit, Rockford, uh, door speakers, and also right above here, I've got two 6x5s um, for when you take your doors off. I had some tube doors and kind of made my own pins, just similar to uh, what a Jeep would have. Now this is a 2007, so it does have a few more miles than most of them may but currently sitting at 227. Uh, no lights on the dash. You're able to uh, change all the readings on the scan gauge uh, for whatever you want to view or check on, so that's pretty neat. Also on the dash is going to be this, uh, I'm not really sure what this is called. Kind of let you know uh, like when you're gonna tip uh, so you don't flip over, which is kind of neat. I've never actually been on anything 
that rough. It's actually a false floor where you can just stack a bunch of stuff on top. And if you remember when I had all that wiring just sitting in the back, um, just looking terrible, well, no more. Once you raise this lid up, there is all my electronics right there. The only thing that's not in here that I would have had uh, on the regular would have been a amp for music audio. Um, but once I took those subs out, it was kind of pointless to have. Um, so I ended up removing it. But everything else is down here. Again, not super electrically inclined, uh, so bear with me. Does have the fuse panel, um, distribution block, the DC to DC. Um, also, Renogy is the name of the solar panel, so have all of that stuff matching. Have the Renogy uh, solar panel. Um, I believe that's somewhat of like a distribution uh, to gauge to the batteries and also to the uh, fuse panels and whatnot. It does have the Bluetooth hookup, uh, so you can use your phone to kind of check all the numbers and whatnot if you need to. I've actually never had to use that, but if you did have a problem with something, it would be really nice to have uh, that may be able to tell you what's going on. And then on the far side is going to be an 800 watt inverter. I've never needed anything bigger than that actually. Um, I thought I would at first. That was actually just going to be a temporary purchase, uh, but it's actually done really, really well for me. So having the DC to DC and the solar um, combined, that way I can charge both batteries or just a secondary battery while the car is on or while the car is off. So keeping that thing topped off at all times is important. Um, on this side, you have this USB plug-in um, wired up. It looks kind of weird, right? Well, that's actually to reach inside the tent. Um, so pretty neat. It is weatherproof on the end and I've used it multiple times. And then on this other side actually has a power strip coming out the side um, so you can plug anything without having to open and close that hood if you need to. That's really just to be able to get to anything if uh, something were to happen like a blown fuse or um, I don't know, maybe like a wire disconnect, something weird. But yeah, just to keep everything a little bit more organized. We're on the side though, I guess I can talk about this massive thing. It's gonna be an alley cab, 270 awning. Only really used it once or twice, um, but it is a lot cooler and it's such a fast setup compared to just having one that comes off the side um, at an angle. It does have one leg uh, that comes down if you need to. And then also, um, what I think was actually a really cool design by them, if I can get the light right, um, all of the uh, straps actually push up in these arms. But now I guess we are making our way to the back and I guess I'll start with this uh, swing out that I actually had custom made. The rear bumper itself was actually a Warrior and I took it to a fab shop and they built the swing out for me basically from scratch. Fits the bumper really, really well. They did an amazing job on this thing. Super durable. Um, I mean, there's a lot of weight that's been carried on this and that all helps coming from the design of it. Foothills Fab, they did an amazing job on this. Currently holding a 35. Um, spare tire, but it will hold a 40. This is a like a Trasheroo style bag. Uh, this one's actually a little bit cheaper, a little bit smaller. The CBI uh, gas tank mounts and gas cans. Also has the high lift jack. We've got the light bar on the back for backing up. Custom drawers. These were actually modeled after a set of $4,000 drawers. They all have dual locking slides on them. Uh, 500 pounds, I believe. So I've already taken my fridge out, but if you remember, it does have a fridge slide tilt in it. So very cool. Probably one of the best things to have, to be honest. I mean, I know I'm short, but I mean, even if, it's just so much easier to get to everything. Um, top drawer is what I actually used for uh, dry foods. Top drawer was just a little junk drawer for me. It's got the stove, um, also has a little half drawer for all of my cookware, pans, yada yada and then the bottom right is actually where I kept all of my recovery gear tools um, stuff like that and I can still see that you're eyeing the blue up here so what this is is I actually bought some heavier duty springs front and rear both Dobinsons I cannot remember the model right off the top of my head but I never got a chance to put those on and I know I said this build was complete and yes it was it's still complete like you know you know what I'm saying but I'm also gonna throw those in there with them um, that I do think it would make a huge difference. Obviously, Dobbinson is a great company. I actually have a pretty good bit of friends that have their suspensions and stuff, and that's actually what I was gonna lean more towards. Um, but really, my off-roading career is not crazy. And then in this box up here, also throwing in because it's got a bunch of goodies and it's only uh, FJ specific, but. Um, yeah, so got some belts, 
uh, some different fuses and whatnot. I've got plenty of oil in here for days just in case you would ever need some. This is basically just some stuff that I had uh, with me at all times just in case uh, that I could make like a small repair or whatnot. These are actually the headlights. Uh, I think I've got the stock ones in here uh, just in case one would blow or something. Some brake cleaner because you just never know. Zip ties, uh, some hardware bolts. I mean, you name it, it's in here. Um, and thankfully, I've never actually had to use any of this stuff. So, never gotten stranded, never gotten broke down, knock on wood. That that won't happen. But yeah, so little goodie box. So, this back door right here actually has. Whoa. In this back door right here, there is a um, small net that you can kind of keep stuff. I kept a lot of my cookware. Um, spices and whatnot. So I still have the second one um, that was up top in the back seat if anyone you know decides to put that back on. I just didn't really need it. So that's essentially the walkthrough. Um, <laughs> everything looks amazing and works as it should except for these two things. Number one, the crack in the windshield. Most FJ owners know that there's always probably going to be a crack. Probably had it like that for over a year, maybe a year and a half, give or take. It's not really in my line of sight, so it hasn't really bothered me. And I knew as soon as I replaced it, I was immediately going to get another crack in it because that's just how the windshield kind of is. Other bad thing is the AC currently does not work. It hasn't worked for close to four years, I want to say. Ever since I've had this thing, it went out shortly after. Now, I do know what the problem is to that. There is a line that runs on the front end, and I think I have a video of where it's cracked, but that's all it is. It's just cracked, and I've tried to buy this thing twice, okay? But every single time, you know, they take my money and they say, hey, it's on the way. But then I shortly get refunded after that and it says item out of stock. So I figured it just wasn't meant to be. So like I said, not an expensive fix, uh, to be honest. And it, it's literally just that part. I have a picture right here. But it's also something that hasn't really stopped me from using the vehicle itself. Like I said, still fully prepared to drive out west. Um, drive out in the middle of the woods. It's actually been so reliable. So if you have any questions, just please hit me up in the comments um, I will try to do my best to answer all of them as well as I can But if you actually are interested, please 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 just message me on Instagram um, I'll also have that down below It'll just be so much easier to keep up with your uh, contact because I know communicating through channels can be weird sometimes on YouTube But if you already have an FJ or an off-road rig that you want to put anything that I have on there I'll also leave in the description um, all of the goodies and aftermarket parts that I do have So you can put it on your vehicle and so you can enjoy it just like I have This vehicle's actually just been so so good to me Check out the van build it's gonna be super sick And uh, I'm actually starting from scratch on that one So I'll see y'all next time Peace